Hello everyone, it is your boy Winster back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about OCG ban list starting April 1st and what that could potentially mean for us here in the TCG. But before we get started in today's discussion video, be sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell, that way you guys could stay up to date with all the videos drop on this channel. And be sure to check out the description box, there are going to be other platforms that I have, Discord, TikTok, Twitter and Twitch, make sure you guys go give me a follow there. But let's get started with today's discussion video. First, let's go ahead and talk about what is coming. In the OCG starting April 1st, they are gonna be getting a new ban list. Now this ban list at best is mediocre. It's not banning any kind of cards, but it is, in my opinion, paving the way for what is to come in these future months. Maybe not this up and coming ban list here in the TCG, but potentially the next. It is gonna be setting up what to expect come the ban list here in the TCG. Now we're only gonna be talking about a couple cards from this ban list. All the other cards, in my opinion, I don't really care. They are irrelevant to our meta because OCG, TCG, vastly different. So we're only gonna be talking about a few cards. Only card that I wanna talk about on this limited list is Wanted Seeker of Sinful Spoils. This is a huge, huge hit to the Snake Eye strategy and all its variants, be it Rescue Ace, Fire King, any other variant that you could think of. Wanted is a one card starter, plays around Droll, usually not a great Ash target because they usually have another starter. How consistent the fire deck is, you activate this in the draw phase since it's a quick play. You search out Dia Bellstar, Dia Bellstar summons itself, sits original sinful spoils, and then you just start comboing without having to commit a normal or much resource because this is all with one card. Once you get to the Dia Bell Star, you have to have another card, so it's 1.5. But on top of that, if you do manage to get that combo line out, you could banish this card, shuffle back in the original Sinful Spoils if it was negated or if it wasn't, and then you draw a card. You could top deck a, another starter, which is absolutely, absolutely insane. On to the semi-limited part of the list, and by far the more interesting part. We got two cards from the Fire Strategy. We got Snake Eye Ash. And then we got Fire King, High Avatar, Kirin. Now, Snake Eye Ash, pretty straightforward. It's a huge part of the Snake Eye strategy and all its variants all play this card. And they max out at three. It being hit to two is very interesting. I do think that they are testing the waters. Considering that they limited a huge piece of the puzzle with Wanted. Um, and they don't want to outright just completely destroy the deck. But... This is more of a testing the water thing, in my personal opinion. Maybe in a another ban list, is Snake Eye still is consistent as it is now. They might even limit it, maybe even possibly ban this card. Uh, as for the Fire King, I do think this is just a different meta overall. Uh, Fire Kings are doing a lot better in the OCG as compared to the TCG. Once Snake Eye hit the field here in TCG, People just ended up dropping the Fire Kings overall because they are a little bit bricky uh, and just going straight for the pure version. But because I think they do better over there than they do here, I think that's why they ended up limiting or restricting this card in some kind of way. But the more interesting aspect, I think it's only ever necessary to play two Kirin. Three Kirin could be a little bit bricky. Uh, so I'm just a little bit shocked, but a different meta, uh, just my overall opinion. Now, what if we got something similar to this ban this here in the TCG. Wanted being hit to one is a huge consistency hit. Knock the fire strategy down a few pegs. This card, phenomenal card, 1.5 card starter that plays around roll. Usually not a great target for your opponent to ash because Snake Eye is just that consistent and has so much one card starters. Activate this in the draw phase. Search the Dia Bell Star. Dia Bell Star summon said original. Now there are ways to kind of circumvent the limitations, right? Playing more Dia Bellstar, playing more original Sinful Spoil. As far as the Dia Bellstar, people are already playing two to three copies, so that's not really going to change much, but I do see original play possibly be played more. Uh, copies, maybe two to three in Snake Eye and in Fire King. Now, I do think that something similar to this may happen here in the TCG. I personally think that it might get hit to two, because they want to test the waters before a big ban list and considering that we still have more snake eye support coming in the newest set as far as ash getting hit to two this is just another consistency hit they want to slow down the deck a tiny bit 
Uh, Ash being a one card starter, normal summon, search the poplar, summon the poplar off of its own effect, and then just start comboing. It makes a lot of sense for it to go to two, but I think at the end of it all, it's going to be hit to one. I personally don't think it's going to be banned, but I do see it being hit to one. Um, but because of this, I also see that more poplar is going to be played in fire king not in pure they play three copies of uh where in fire king they only usually play two but i could see poplar rising in playability being maxed out in any kind of version of snake eyes at least to three if this type of hit on ash does come or it get hit to one or even banned outright now as for karen i personally don't think that that card is going to get hit in any kind of capacity here in the tcg um i think the uh, real usefulness of Kieran uh, is being able to summon back a monster, which your usual target is going to be Arvada, if you manage to get the combo off. Uh, and its destruction effect is amazing, uh, but I think it's really useful in terms of effect negation, dodging, like Imperm and Effect Veiler. Um, but I personally don't think here in the TCG this is going to get hit in any kind of capacity. Now, I want to get your guys' thoughts and opinions on the matter. How do you think this is going to affect us here in the TCG? Is it going to change anything? The ban list that we get first, is that going to have the snake eye changes? Or is it going to be the next ban list after that? Make sure you guys leave your thoughts, comments, and concerns in the comment section, guys. I think this is a very interesting topic. So that's why I wanted to bring it to you guys. But... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll check you guys out later. Thank you for checking out today's video.